My name is Luke. I'm average looking in general. I'm no playboy, but I'm not unpopular with girls. For that reason, when I realized I hadn't had a girlfriend for two years, a friend invited me to a single party. I felt like it was time to get a girlfriend, so I decided to attend. I met a girl named Emma there. She said she loved drama so much that she checked all the current shows on air. She loves romance in particular. She said she likes to have a great love affair like a drama. She seemed cute like a dreamy girl. I also like detective dramas. Although the genre is different, we had fun talking about dramas. We exchanged contacts for the time being. The first date was also drama talk, but it was also pretty fun. It was comfortable to be with Emma, so I decided to date her. However, our relationship was nothing dramatic like she wanted. Still, the dating was going well. Romance like drama is hard to come by in reality. I dated Emma for about a year and proposed to her. Would you marry me? Of course! Emma gladly accepted my proposal. We got married as scheduled with blessings from each other's family. Emma quit working after marriage and became a housewife. As usual, Emma still loves dramas. She watched many of her favorite dramas without fail, but she does the housework well. When I get home from work, her home cooking is prepared every day. I was happy with that kind of life, and I was truly happy that I married her. There has been something on my mind for a while, so I decided to ask her. Why did you accept my proposal? What's wrong? All of the sudden. You used to say you wanted to have a great love affair like a drama, right? But we didn't do anything like that. Well, you always listen to me patiently every time. Is that right? Yes. Some people get angry when I always talk about dramas. Is that so? Really so. That's why I thought you understand me and made me happy. Oh, I see. Now I know. Besides, we can stir some drama up later. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I thought it wouldn't mean anything in particular. Reality is different than her dramas. But it seems that she understands it properly. So, I'm glad I asked. Shortly after getting married, Emma said she wanted to work part-time because she was bored at work during the day. I told her that I didn't mind, seeing Emma so extremely pleased. She must have been really bored and I felt a little sorry. I encouraged her to work so she could improve her life, but it made me realize the true meaning of her saying, you understand me. Shortly after Emma started on the part-time work, she's been acting kind of strange. She often goes out at night, and she's glued to her smartphone. But it feels like something intentional. You are late. Oh, look, I'm home. I was invited to go drinking by a friend that I met at work. I had a blast. That's what you said before, and you came home late. Is that right? Sorry. Even though Emma's behavior was suspicious, she didn't seem to have a guilty conscience, but she seemed happy somewhat. How should I say? I felt like she was waiting and seeing my reaction. It feels very strange. One day, I was walking out of the office during a break. I saw Emma with a stranger, a man. They were holding arms and it looked like they were close. I instinctively headed in front of them. What are you doing? Oh, look! Emma had a surprise too. But after all, she also looked happy somewhat. Oh, this man is my husband, Luke. Uh, husband? I have nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it? Even though you are holding hands? What a coincidence! It's like a drama! What the hell is that? Luke, I know this is a bad thing. Forgive me, this is pure love. What? What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. We love each other. He's my destiny. Destiny? We are meant to be. Stop it! Don't say anything that doesn't make sense, weirdo. This has nothing to do with me. I was just seduced by this woman. What? Oh no! You should say the lines too. What lines? Anyways, I'm out of here. Wait! Where are you going? Are you going to explain what this is all about? I thought there was something wrong with you lately. So, it was an affair, was it? It's different. What do you mean by different? It wasn't supposed to be like this. 
Oh, it's supposed to be like this. Actually, here, my boy toy was supposed to say this line. I really love your wife. What? That's just like the dramas. Lines and dramas, etc. Listen, this is reality. I got married to have an affair like a drama. Are you out of your mind? I thought you must have understood that kind of thing about me. Understand? When I heard that, I felt dizzy suddenly. I couldn't comprehend Emma at all. It's a failure. Now I have to choose a drama-like romance partner. Don't play games. What is it? Didn't you understand me? Who the hell would understand that? You're having an affair? I'm going to divorce you. I'm not divorcing you. If I do that, I can't have an affair. What? It's dramatic because I'm a married woman. It's ridiculous. Reality and dramas are different. It's not different. Life is a drama. It may be true, but uh, we're divorcing anyway. I wanted to get away from Emma and her insane way of thinking. I no longer cared about the man who she was having an affair with. She started to look less human and more like a creature to me. I can only see her as a naughty basket case. I was looking at her face during our discussion. Only this thing came to my mind. Surprisingly, her face may look like cashew nuts. No matter what you long for drama, it's the truth that my wife had an affair and divorce would be acceptable. Even in such a situation, Emma was still like this. It's different from the scenario. After that, it seemed that Emma quarreled with her affair partner and he sued Emma contrary to the usual situation. Apparently, it's gotten bogged down. Well, it doesn't matter to me anymore. After the divorce, Emma has been working non-stop. She's facing serious financial difficulty due to the cost of trial with an affair partner, etc. She doesn't seem to have time to even watch a drama at home. After this incident, I hope she gets back to reality instead of pining for drama. Maybe she was having trouble making ends meet. She got in touch with me and asked me to start over again. Of course I blocked everything. I don't want to get involved with her again. Certainly life is a drama, but still different from TV dramas. This is reality. That being said, after the divorce, I can't seem to be able to eat nuts anymore. Luke, are you alright? Your ex-wife was having an affair with a man from her part-time work, right? Right. Since the moment she said she wanted to work part-time, I guess the purpose was to find a man. Should we have a single and ready to mingle soiree to cheer you up? Well, that sounds great. But can you make the dessert a fruitcake? What's that?